Hey guys, it's JH. Welcome to the Practice Tee. Beautiful day, very hot, and the JH Practice Tee wind, incessant wind. Okay, guys. Today I'm going to give a name and a descriptive to the new breakthrough. The breakthrough that I've been talking about is a culmination of 35 years of work. When I had my teaching facility in Sydney, because I was such a diligent practicer and I was always looking, looking, looking for the elusive repeating golf swing, a few of the regulars and students nicknamed me the Indiana Jones of the golf swing. And by that they meant that I was always obsessively looking for the mythical repeating golf swing, the same as Indiana Jones was looking for the mythical Holy Grail. It may not be mythical, but most people have thought that the mythical repeating golf swing was a fact, and they called me Indiana Jones, and I accepted that tag. And uh, I thought it was probably relevant, quite frankly, because of my obsessive nature. And guys, but even in the movies, the Indiana Jones movies, Indiana Jones found the Holy Grail. And I think Indiana JH has found the repeating golf swing. And I'm prepared today to, after all my research, and as a result of my findings, I'm prepared today to label this breakthrough the golf formula. And it is a formula. And what is a formula? A formula is usually a, an amalgam or a mixture of uh, things that go to producing a finished uh, workable product and in scientific uh, parlors they call it a correct theory. So my formula is basically my theory and the workings of the theory put into a formula. And what happens in a formula guys? You have to mix a whole lot of different things. And to have the formula come out with the same result every time, you have to put the same ingredients in. And that's what I've done with this golf swing. I've got to the stage and the extent that I've got a number of ingredients now that I don't so much mix, but I apply in a sequence that gives me a finished product. And those ingredients, or those components, I term the formula. And now from now on I'm going to refer to this breakthrough as the formula, as the golf swing formula. Now I don't think that's being a little overbearing and thinking that I'm the only person that has the formula to the golf swing, but I've put thousands and thousands and thousands of hours into my research. And in my opinion I've come up with a workable formula, a formula that produces a repeatable golf swing. And guys, the formula is relative to the reverse instinct process that we've been talking about. So to put, to put some finer points on it, the swing has probably five major um, formula ingredients that you have to apply, and you have to apply them in sequence. And I call it basically swinging by the numbers. If you count this formula down, if you put the right ingredient in at the, in the right sequence, like one, two, three, four, five, you'll get exactly the resultant um, finished product. Because the ingredients of the formula are always the same, so the finished product will always be the same. And guys, 
I guess playing by the numbers is probably easy for us from the point of view of putting together a golf swing. If you have a countdown mechanism, anybody should be able to do that fairly easily. I mean, it's pretty easy to count to one, two, three, four, five. And if you have an association by the numbers with the ingredients, you should be able to put together a repeating golf swing basically every time. And that's what I'm suggesting is the framework for the formula, for the golf swing formula. Okay, so what is the formula and what are the ingredients of the formula? Okay, now we have to do a couple of tapes today, guys, because it's, it's quite important that we understand the formula and the ingredients and how we put the ingredients into play in sequence. Okay, I think there's about five ingredients. And the first ingredient is the open stance. We're aligning left of the target line. That's ingredient number one. A la Trevino. Ingredient number two is that we take the club back with a clockwise rolling process. The arms move away in this fashion here. But as they move away, and this is part of ingredient two, as they move away, they are moving away against the pressure of the right wrist hinge, holding its line, holding its formation. So as I roll that left forearm away on my body line, I'm rolling it against that right wrist hinge resistance, rolling it away like that. Now once I've hinged that right wrist to that degree there, I want to hold... Now number three ingredient is once I've got to this position at the top, I want to hold that right wrist hinge back, like putting my knuckles back against the outside of my forearm. So that's ingredient number three. Ingredient number four is as I come down, I reverse roll that left forearm and hand through the ball that way, against the resistance of that right wrist hinge. Now that right wrist hinge, there's a little bit of intrinsic uh, mechanics in here, in that as this left arm is coming down and rotating this way, that right wrist hinge is actually holding its, its station there like that. It's actually going this way against that left forearm going this way. So the hands are actually doing this. They're doing that. That's what I want to feel through the swing. I want to have this tremendous reverse winding through here and I want to have the resistance of that right wrist and forearm pressuring down against that opening up of the left forearm down the line. Now that's ingredient number four. Now ingredient number five is basically seeing the golf ball hit. Trying to actually see the golf club hit it and committing yourself to seeing it hit. Try and see the golf club onto the golf ball. And when you're doing it right you won't actually see the ball hit unless you've got great visual acuity. But where the ball used to be you'll see a dark black spot and it'll be there and then it'll slowly dissipate. So they're the five ingredients guys. We'll go away and we'll come back and we'll talk more about them in depth so that we know exactly what the formula is.